Quidditch is a full contact game, the point of which is to score the biggest number of points. Typically, a team consists of a minimum of seven players, of which six are always on the pitch, those being the three chasers, one keeper, and two beaters. The roles are indicated by the colour of headbands team members wear. Keepers green, chasers white, beaters black. At all times, all team members hold a broom between their legs, which is an approximately 1.2 metre long stick. To score points, chasers or keepers must get the quaffle, a slightly deflated volleyball, into one of three of the opposing hoops, which scores the team 10 points. To impede the quaffle from advancing down the pitch, chasers and keepers are able to tackle opposing chasers and keepers as long as they tackle from the front, above the knees and below the shoulders. At the same time, beaters are using their bludgers to take out opposing players. Once a player is hit by an opposing bludger, that player must dismount their broom, drop any ball being held and return to and touch their hoops before being allowed back into play. In the 17th minute of the game, a snitch runner is released. Snitch runner is a person dressed in yellow with a tennis ball put in a sock, commonly known as the snitch, attached to the back of their shorts. The role of the snitch is to defend itself from being caught by the seekers, who are not present on the pitch until the 18th minute of the game. Seeker is the seventh member of each team in a yellow headband. The game ends when the snitch is caught by one of the seekers, awarding that team 30 points. Five uh, identifies as a gender. As yep, does six, six, six. six. Well, I just, yep, I... I think I knew that too. A team may have a maximum of four players who identify as the same gender, making Quidditch one of the few sports that not only offers a co-ed environment, but an open community to those who do not identify with the gender binary.